Hello, my friend. This is Pastor Dean from Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries, and I've been doing a lot of reading today, <laughs> a lot of praying, a lot of asking. You know, I, uh, I came across a quote by Stephen Covey, and it's so true. The greatest battles of life are fought out every day in the silent chambers of your heart. Now I'm going to go to the Bible because people come to me and say, how could God send my husband to hell if he's such a good God? Why doesn't God heal me? I've been asking him and I've been telling him, listen, you promised to heal me and I'm not healed. I still have that cancer. Well, I gotta tell you something, and I hope this, which is another quote that I wanna. If you wanna change your life, if you wanna be healed, if you want things to start going good again, you are going to first have to change yourself. And to change yourselves, Effectively, we first have to change our perceptions. If you think God is a mean God, you've got the wrong perception. You haven't read the scripture. If you've got a, a perception of God that he is trying to teach you a lesson by giving you sickness, you've got the wrong perception of God because God does not give sickness to anybody. He allows it. And most of the sicknesses, you can ask doctors, you can ask psychologists, most of the sicknesses, 80% of the sicknesses that we see today, the diseases that we see, are as a result of stinking thinking. Because when we are diseased, when we are diseased in the body, it's because we're not at ease in the mind. Let me read a Bible verse to you. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them, and he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Now, for those of you who are telling me you're having calamity after calamity happen in your lives, for those of you telling me that you are sick all the time, I'm going to say that you have never accepted the reconciliation that God is offering you. Some people will not go to God today. Why? Because they feel sinful, guilty. They haven't done this. They haven't done that. The kids haven't turned out. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, you know what? You should feel guilty. But once you confess your sins and once you accept Jesus' payment at the cross for all of your sins, life changes. You're a new person. God can't hold you accountable for anything that you have done because Jesus already paid for it. That's the ministry of reconciliation. Now, nowhere in God's word does it say, I will save you. He doesn't say, he, he, God does not promise he will save you. God does not promise he will heal you. He has already done that. He has, you see, he has, he has provided Jesus Christ as the payment for every sin, every sickness that we'll ever commit. Now, God has already reconciled himself to us by Christ. 
Now somebody's going to be out there and say, well, you, I can do whatever I want then and and uh, uh, because we're all saved. You're not saved until you make a public proclamation that Jesus Christ is your Lord and you say it with a committed heart. Now, those of you who are not healed, I say to you, look at yourselves. Who have you not forgiven? Where are you disobedient? I have to ask myself those questions all the time. And then I confess my sins to God. And my gosh, when I go to God and I confess my sins, he automatically forgives me and things changed. I had to do that today, this afternoon. I had physical sickness trying to take me over this morning. Now, I'm not supposed to be sick. I'm a minister of God. I am a child of God. I have been redeemed by Jesus Christ. I got up today and I confessed every one of my sins to, G to, Lord, to the Father in the name of Jesus. And you know what happened? Immediately he restored me. My health issues were healing. My problems were being solved. God's wonderful. See, I don't come to this camera to condemn you. Oh, no sense in it. You condemn yourself. I come here to tell you that God loves you. He is obsessed with you. He wants you in his arms right now. And don't you let anybody talk you out of it. There are many atheists who cannot come to God because they have publicly proclaimed their atheism. Well, you know what? This is about the most stupid decision a person could make is to be an atheist. Why? Because you have not investigated the Bible. You don't know what you're talking about. You've taken the word of other atheists who are ignorant of the wonderful God that we have. I'm going to say good night, but I'm going to say this one thing. See, I'm a minister. I'm a Christian because I have been reconciled to God. All of the sins that I have committed are never going to be held against me. Sin and sickness are the evil twins. Sickness tried to take me over today, and I refuted it with spiritual law. I went to God, confessed my sins, was forgiven, and declared in Jesus' name that I'm free. I'm a child of God. I'm free of sickness, free of sin, free of addictions. I'm victorious. I'm an overcomer. I love you so much. Please try to invest in this ministry and, and keep me on the air. I don't ask you too often, but invest in this ministry. I'm in the process of writing a book. I'm putting the outline together now. I love you. You've been with me. Many of you have been with me for a long, long time. I pray for you. Everyone I have given a cross to, I pray for every day. In the name of Jesus, Father, give them what they need and tell them I love them, Lord. And may they accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. This is Pastor Dean. God bless you. I love you. Maybe we'll talk tomorrow, huh? Okay. Bye-bye.